People and organizations work in a variety of groups, formal and informal, permanent and temporary, and various kinds of teams. Most of these groups make decisions that affect the welfare of the organization and the people in it. Therefore, we need to consider group decision making. The primary elements we will discuss are group polarization, group think, and group problem solving methods. Generally, group polarization occurs when the average of the group members' post-discussion attitudes tends to be more extreme than average pre-discussion attitudes. Several features of group discussion contribute to polarization. When individuals discover during group discussion that others share their opinions, they may become more confident about their opinions, resulting in a more extreme view. Persuasive arguments also can encourage polarization. If members who strongly support a particular position are able to express themselves congently in the discussion, less avid supporters of the position may become more convinced that it's correct. In addition, members may believe that because the group is deciding, they are not individually responsible for the decision or its outcomes. This diffusion of responsibility may enable them to accept and support a decision more radical than those that they would have made as individuals. Polarization can profoundly affect group decision making. If group members are known to lean towards a particular decision before a discussion, it may be expected that their post-discussion position will be even more extreme. Understanding this phenomenon may be useful for one who seeks to affect their decision.